Welcome, everybody. This is John Z, and with me, as always, is Matt Roybal. We are here for another pickup special from the Global Comic Safari. So off to show off some cool books. We've got a couple of guests we're going to introduce shortly. Uh, I just want to sh shout out a couple things. Uh, please check out our friends at Comic Barricade. They have just put out the uh, XL size, which will work in your magazine slash slab boxes. Uh, great stuff to kind of keep things sorted and organized. I know with our hobby, there's all kinds of ways you can get books of different sizes mixed together, and it just is a nightmare sometimes. So go ahead and give them some love. If you use the code word flipside when you order, you get 10% off. And, uh, you know, thank them as always. And uh, also our friends at comicbookinvest.com, uh, CBSI for your boast free content daily on comic news, speculation, investing, and just general entertainment. So check them out. Uh, home of the hot 10. Matt, how you doing, sir? Doing good, bro. It's been a while. It definitely has been a minute. We've been a little sidetracked with uh, everything else in the world. So yes, yes. And, and, you know, I just like to mention to our viewers, we've been We've been a little bit away, and you know that's kind of a result of a lot of crazy stuff, uh, at least in my personal life, for sure. Um, and so I just want to be thankful. I mean, it makes sense that right now is right during the Thanksgiving weekend, and I want to be thankful that we're back and thankful for us getting back on the horse and things have chilled out a little bit. Let's get back to foreign comics, man. Awesome. Well, I'm going to welcome a couple guests. Uh, do you want to bring the first one in? Yes. Just uh, introduce him because he's new to the show. Yep, definitely. This is our good friend Bjorn. Hello. This, this man is a legend. And, and, and I would like to say that, uh, you know, Bjorn's been hanging out with the FCC crew since back way in the CGC days. This is back when we didn't have nearly as many contacts and sources around the world like we do. And Bjorn is one of the OGs. He's an original gangster. Thank you. And I'm so happy to have you here, bro. Welcome Thank you, as well. Thank you. He is an ally. He has been our ally in helping us with the Nordic countries yeah. for Old years. Spider Crazy, a.k.a. Spider Crazy. That's my name. <laughs> Welcome, bro. It's so good to have you. Thank you. And also, Thank welcome, you. sir. I'd also like to welcome, uh, you know, Rob from uh, Mini of Pickup Show. So he's going to join us again, as well Hello. as representing our friend. Oh, Josh, aka Pee Wee, is joining us. Pee Wee, one more time. yeah, I love it. What's up, up, Josh? All right. So, and as much as they love hearing us chat, I thought we would kind of get to some books and, and show some eye candy first. So we're going to let Matt go because, as always, he's the most likely to need edited later. So, yes, yes. But I'm planning on self editing. But, you know, it's it's been so long, I might just explode all over the screen. I don't know. So, so much info in your brain. <laughs> this, you know, this, this isn't a tough book. But oh. um, the, reason, the reason why I like it is. Um, uh, I got to thank Brent Webb for hooking me up with this. This is the Brazilian Parker 101. John, you and I both built this set. Yeah. Um, and I had showed some of my 101s. Um, I forget when it was or why it was. But anyway, Brett had, had seen it. And he was like, hey, I've got the Brazilian if you need it. And I was like, cool. And he just sent it to me for free. Comic awesome. Karma. Got to love it, man. Comic Karma. Got to love it. I do like that one. I mean, even though I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the digest sizes, but mm -hmm. I do love the coloring. It's interesting to see it in different variations. Yeah. And you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sold completely on the digest sizes, but you know, if you're building a set, variation is what fuels sets yeah. and having nice variation in small sizes. I love it within the set context. Absolutely. All right, Bjorn. He he was actually surprisingly short. I don't know. Are you ready to go? It wasn't the three minutes you needed to prep. <laughs> so I will show right. you uh, uh, one book that I got uh, this week. All right. This is uh, the Polish Spider-Man number one. Oh, mega Polish. Nice. Nice. Uh, 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 I bought it on uh, an. Uh, Polish auction site uh, called uh, Allegro.pl. I never uh, bought on that site before, but uh, I checked it out and uh, there it was. 
Awesome. And, uh, nice. So is, does that have the innards yeah. of Spider-Man 1 or just the cover? Uh, it has the uh, innards of Spider-Man uh, 1, 2, uh, 5, I think. Okay. It's uh, the same as, as, as uh, the Swedish issue. At least one was uh, a couple of years later, I think. Poland's a tough uh, country to crack. Yeah, yeah it's hard to yeah. get in there. Yeah, it can be. Mm. But having access to Allegra, I've I've heard of it too, but I've never actually used it. Was it hard getting an account? Uh, no, not not really. Just have to use uh, some translation translation machine, and uh, it worked pretty fine for me. Awesome. Huh. Might have to try it. Might have to try it. Yeah. Poland, is a, Poland is a bitch to get books out of. Exactly. Mm. They are. Was, they are a tough country to find. <clears throat> All right, Rob. I know you've been waiting for months to do a pickup again. You've been <laughs> stockpiling and oh, yeah. good I'm, stuff. I'm almost afraid to see what Rob's got. All right. So oh, give everybody a little deep dive. You know, my, my uh, wife is going to love you. You're wearing a Steelers shirt, for love of God. <laughs> 10 and 0. I mean, they were trying to they're trying to short us the changes on week by week, but you know we're gonna see what we can do with that. I assumed you were a Ravens fan. No, nah, I was a Steelers fan since '84. They ain't changing. So, All right. credit to my father. But um, <laughs> this is the first book that brought me into Florence. I bought this because I said the the U.S. was kind of too expensive. So just to give you a highlight of this is the original artwork, you know, with the no panties or whatever. So the German loot crate. Blue Chess uh, exclusive. And nice. down that deep dive, I turned around and got the Japanese. Woo! So, oh, nice. Ooh. And if you and if you if you dare to open it, make sure you have the Obi. Matt taught me that. Yeah. Make sure you have the Obi. Yeah. And it had a postcard in there huh. with the original mm. artwork in it. That's, That's super nice. cool. That is so, super freaking cool, man. That would be kind of part of the set because this is the original art. And down that deep dive of Japanese books. I picked up the Squirrel Girl. Nice. Love did it. you open that I, one up too? I did, and it has, you know. Oh man, it's got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, a bunch of little freebies and subscription cards and stuff like that. They even threw the, UP, the UPC security tag in there. I don't know why, but <laughs> that too. do that. Oh man, the Japanese stuff so wonderful because they throw so many goodies in there. Yep. <clears throat> you know, it's a it's definitely a deep dive, but. Oh, that's that's my that's my round one for those modern guys out there showing that you you gotta mix it up. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. All right, Mr. Pee Wee. Um sometimes the king of horror, sometimes Pee Wee. What'd you bring today? So first book is gonna be this one. Whoa. This is uh Superman three from Brazil. It's uh nineteen forty seven. Wow, gorgeous. Wow. So coloring on that is fantastic. Yeah. What's the interiors on that? Oh, you're about to see. Oh, <laughs> glad you we're, asked. We're, we're about to <laughs> buckle in because this is gonna this is there's gonna a get lot. All right, you ready to start? Yeah, I'm ready. So there's the cover. Okay. So the cover is from Flash Comics eighty eight, which also came out in nineteen forty seven. So pretty amazing that the year this came out, Brazil was also printing it right away, pretty much. Yeah, they are on right. top of stuff sometimes. Um, this yeah. is this is one of the interior stories. This is one of the stories from Flash 88. Okay. And then I just put another interior page. The bubbles were weird. And then yeah, this the, is American. The original version. Yeah. And then we've got. So it also contained this story, which is Ghost Patrol. And this is from Flash Comics 88, also. So it had two stories from that in there. Nice. Then we're going to go to it also had this, which is Club 13, which is from Batman 40 from 1947. Wow. Damn. Yeah. They just threw all of it in there. It's a fun yep. little Joker story. Nice splash page. Mm hmm. Yeah. Getting then paint. it also had this story in here, which is from, hold on, I got to find my notes real quick. It's Superman 47 
from 1947. It's a cover I don't see very often. That's no, a cool cover. Cool. You'd be amazed at how many elephant stories there are with Superman also. Trying to find that one. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So then it also has a vigilante story, which is from Action Comics 113 from 1947. Okay. So, oh, that's uh, next book. Oh, sorry. Spoiler. No, Spoiler. Are these all the next book? Yeah, those are all, all right. next book. All right. I didn't realize I had two books. Sorry. No, you're fine. There was so much crammed in, I got yeah. confused. <laughs> That's all awesome, right. man. They threw everything in the kitchen sink into that issue. Yeah, so, I, I opened that last night, and I was like, oh, I should not have opened this. Because now <laughs> i got to try and find all this stuff. Down the rabbit hole you go. Mm -hmm. All right. I went to Brazil. No, I didn't go to Brazil, but I brought books from Brazil as well. Um, I brought two issues of uh, GB Mensal, both with uh, nice oh, Submariner covers. Beautiful. Nice. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Sorry, I'm going to do one at a time. It's too much. Mm. Um, this one, which I thought is gorgeous, except as my friends point out, this weird sailor captain at the bottom <laughs> with loot. I, I don't know what's going on there, but I mean, <laughs> you got. The Submariner with a pretty sweet pose. You've got the the girl fight going on. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff here. The coloring is great. Yeah, I'm not as uh, good as Josh and done the research of what's in there yet, so I apologize. Um, and then this one I grabbed because just a uh, World War II cover. Yeah. Um, beautiful colors going on. You got the yeah. red sun and you got the the green ocean. You got some blues. It's a uh, Beautiful, a, a gorgeous cover. Very nice and old from 1944, bro. It's in that condition. Yeah, those Beautiful. are gorgeous. Yeah, the other one's 1948. This one's from 44. So still, still during the wartime on the the. Incredible. Yeah, I mean old and green one. You can't you can't beat that. I mean. No, beautiful no. books. And then we've talked about Brazil and how they have to survive freaking rainforest conditions. I mean, yeah. I mean, the fact that a lot of these Brazilian books are so nice is just mind blowing. Yeah, you I mean, enjoy I, it. there's only a handful of collections I think they're coming out of, and you know, they're just as they're coming into the market and going into uh, other countries' hands. I, I don't know how many more are there. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Totally. Someday soon, uh, I have an extremely large amount of Brazilian Silver Age coming my way. So. It'll be scary. You guys and your Brazilian stuff, man. I'm a little jelly of it, but I'm just it's I, too good. I, I, somebody, I know. somebody keeps sending me messages. Hey, I got this. Do you want it? And I was I keep going no, and then I go, I won't see it again. This nice. Yeah. And I buy it. So yeah. I understand it totally. <laughs> yeah, Brazil, Brazil is definitely rich in a lot of the books that we kind of favor. So I mean it's and it's still part the part about it that's even crazy is that we still haven't seen it all. It's yeah. still a vast wealth of what's in the book, what books they used, which books they didn't. You know, like me on the Wonder Woman kick, finding Nubia is definitely a lot of research to see what's out there, even when it comes to the modern stuff. So yeah. there's a couple of books here that we're thinking like, all right, they didn't do one in Brazil. Come to find out they did. And we're like, oh, wow. So it's. Yeah. Is almost as deep as like Spanish, Mac like Mexican. Yeah, they did a lot. I almost think there's more. Yeah, like gold. They have more golden age than I've seen anywhere else. Like Australia is virtually a ghost, but definitely Brazil's with that one next country that I have to say is really, really deep. That yeah, might be the next thing that pop. And they also had some of their own stuff. So I mean, there's just a lot there. Their mm -hmm. comic market, their their comic culture was just very vast. Very so they did. There's a good chance that if it was done in America or if it was popular in another part of the world, that they did some version of it, which yeah. is what makes Brazil, like you said, sort of like Mexico, just vast in its in its publication history. Definitely. All right, Matt, what'd you bring us? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pump through these really really quick. Um, so I have here a Danish rocket sire. These are just super cool little books. And look at that. Look at that date on there. 1958. Wow. Uh, Rocket Siren, number 24. And the thing about these, they're super cool. This 
This little powerhouse is issue 24. It was published by Interpressy in 1958. And it has Danish World's Finest Comics 49 and a part of Batman 70 in it. And oh. what makes these so cool is that they took interior panels and they repurposed them to fit this funky format. This format is so funky. It's got it's got one staple on the on on the spine, and it's just this is actually an interior panel that they do, that they recolored. They colored uh, the interiors are black and white. They made Batman red ish, which is interesting. And then you have the penguin there and another dude. Super cool. Um, I I'm gotta, kind of amazed that they survived. I got a stupid question. Where's your bag and board from? <laughs> okay, so the 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 bag came from the seller, and then uh, I cut a board down to fit it. Ah, uh, okay. okay. I cut boards down to fit all the time. That's how that's how I have that. So I, I figure out little ways to do that. Also, okay, John, I know you love this issue. Mm. This is the vampire. Wait, I gotta cover up the nasty parts. The vampire. <laughs> the nasty parts on that cover is relative. It's all nasty. nasty. It's all nasty, I guess. But, you know, um, I don't even remember. This is the back cover, of course. These are those Danish, the Vampire series that had the awesome Bronze Age uh, Marvel books, Ghost Rider, Werewolf by Night. Yeah, it's got a Werewolf by Night on the other side. On on the other side. But I wanted to own this just because of what it is. It's not even that it's key, per se, but because it has – this book speaks to how – American publishers didn't give a shit. The checks would, as long as the checks cash, they didn't care how foreign publishers handled their properties. Otherwise, Ghost Rider wouldn't be appearing on a cover of a dude chopping up a chick. <laughs> only, Why I liked it. Only in foreign world. <laughs> yeah, just because it, it represents that kind of who gives a shit attitude of the American publishers. Um, along with that, within that same run, the Vampire run, I found my Ghost Rider one that I needed. Um, and then on the other side of that, John, can you remind me what's that? I think it's a Werewolf by Night. They're right? all Werewolf by Night. Yeah, so they're I, all Werewolf by Night. I think they're night. relative in order. The Werewolf by Nights are more true to form, I think. Yeah, so I got that. Uh, almost completed my Ghost Rider one set. I still am missing the pence. And then I, I think I'm going to start building this set. I think it's the Ghost Rider, what, three or four? I just love this cover. As a as a goth, I love skulls and I love the amount of just skeleton action going on that one. So that's for my next round. Nice. Yeah, I've got a lot of the vampire run, but not the neither of those two issues, honestly. I've got, oh really? Wow. Yeah, this is this is a I picked cool up one. a beater run from somebody. You you'll find them. It's just it just gotta wait for the right opportunity. It's a cool run. I, I mean eventually I'd love to have the whole run. Just to have it. Yeah, but then I'd have to upgrade the ones that I have because some of them are like <laughs> half beat to heck. It was just kind of yeah. like uh, somebody was selling a bunch, and I said I'll take a, one of each. So. They're cool. All right, Bjorn, back to you, sir. Yeah, I thought I should show you two uh, Brazilian books that I got. Well, back uh, to Brazil from, uh, from uh, publisher Block. This oh, is yeah. from uh, and nice. uh, another one, Om Aranya, and this okay. one is uh, uh, the cover features the the uh, the, the live, live action movie from uh, 1977. Oh, oh yeah, the VHS. Oh, yeah, starring, uh, Nicholas Hammond. If you haven't seen those movies, uh, you definitely should, even if they are not very good. <laughs> well, and let, don't forget, I just those, mentioned this. Bjorn collects those movies, the VHS tapes, from yeah. all over the world. Yes. So he's got an amazing yes. collection of that oh, VHS wow. collection. Wow, that's a good, nice little niche. Yeah, it's a cool, and cool I, I, set. I have a, one, one more thing to show you then. Yeah, and absolutely. It's, uh, the, yes, oh, the, there it is. The it's green. Oh my god. That's awesome, dude. Wow, that's so cool. Spider crazy. There we go. Spider crazy. That, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's showing yeah. why he's so crazy. Well, man. those are those are those things that like you don't see everywhere because like that. I don't think that uh, that movie image is used in any American books per se, unless it was a promo thing. 
So you know, oh, when you find uh, it out uh, uh, in a random country, so. it's weird. Hmm. So I mean, yeah, just, it's cool. Just tracking down where it ended up. I mean, it's in Greek for love of God. <laughs> and we all know how hard those can be at times. It's amazing yeah. to me that uh, that happens. Mm. Yep. For such a terrible movie, too. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody loves Spider Man. I remember watching it a dozen times when I was a kid because it was the only version we had. Yeah. You go with the times. That's all it is. Mm, and as yeah. each one comes, it comes becomes greater. <laughs> all those right, Rob. Movies, uh, those movies actually have a quite a strong uh, fan following. So, so uh, there are many who, who wants to see them uh, released on uh, official DVD and Blu ray. <laughs> so let, let's see what happens. Someday, someday. Somebody will buy them. I promise. Somebody will yeah. buy them. Mm-hmm. Bjorn will buy them. <laughs> yeah. As a Captain America fan, I'm not buying the one from the 80s. I can promise you that. <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> yeah, it's rough. Yeah. Mm. But, um, all right, Rob, what you got round two? I am going to show my. Set I just finished. Oh, oh yeah. This, this is, is the beautiful. third print. This is the third print. Oh. Newsstand. So this is the U.S. third print. The Brazilian. Okay. The Italian. Oh. The second Italian. Oh shit. And then, let's not let's not stop there. Let's go to Brazil. <laughs> let's go to Brazil again. <laughs> Brazil, Brazil again. I like that one. No, no, no. That's the Spain, Spanish one. Spanish. Spanish. I'm sorry, the Spanish one. And then on top of that, they put the lovely one of that Kevin Nolan art on the front. Oh, nice. nice. And the crazy thing about this one is this doesn't have the guts of these. This actually is Sensational Seahawk number one on the inside of this one and that. Huh. huh. And the deep dive into that, which I did my research is it has a cousin in this one. <laughs> yeah. This 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 is the poster in this is this cover. Yeah. Huh. Very cool. the poster in the in the Swedish issue also. Yes, the mm. poster's in here. This is complete. Yeah. They didn't take this out. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, so killer set. Yeah, there's there's my deep dive into and this is this is bigger than any of the other ones as you could tell. Yeah, and that's already a big magazine sized book. Yeah, and it's already got it's already caused me issues on the back. You know, oh yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I you almost like, have to like tape two boards together or something, man. Yeah, or you this get a time good. life and you cut it down, but I haven't gotten that far. Yeah, I don't get too many of those, but that is my uh. She Hawk Sensational She Hawk trade paperback graphic novel. Nice. Nice. All right. Josh, what did you bring? <clears throat> All right. I got this guy. Oh, oh man, that's beautiful. Colors again are amazing. Popping like crazy. That's a rad book, Josh. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, this is from uh, 1947 from Brazil. Um, the cover to it, which is what I sent you that picture of. Is this, are the staples out of that one? Yeah, the staples are out of that one. Okay. Which, as we talked before, a lot of times any of the nice condition ones, they pull the staples out because otherwise they just rust. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I was looking at a book today that made me think about it. But, yeah, yeah. there's your All Flash. Yep, it's All Flash 20, which was released in 1945. Um, the interior story, which I sent one picture of, it should be the picture after this. That's from the Brazilian. Um, I actually couldn't find this story, so I gotta, I gotta search more and try and find it. Is it original by chance? It, Hmm. it might be, but I mean, also, if you think about it in the forties, there was, there was all flash, there was flash comics, there were all-star comics, there was comic cavalcade. Like there are so many books that that story could be from. That's so, cool. so yeah, that was that. And then, uh, uh, Labinho was like the original DC, you know, it started out in like the journal form, mm-hmm. which I think you guys have seen some of those Superman things I sent you from, like that were included in like newspapers and whatnot. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, after it went from there, it went to 
Olabinho, and that was like the first Menzal of like yeah. Batman, Flash, all the DC characters that they did. Okay. Uh, a friend, a friend of the uh, friend of the group, uh, Sky Yacht, he explained the the process of it. It was in the magazine first as an ad, then it went from that to the newspaper, the newsprint, and mm-hmm. then the newsprint was a week before it came out and published it in a comic book form. So it's three mm-hmm. levels of getting that book. So you want to talk? If you give it to U.S. terms, it would be the preview, the the free comic book, and then you turn around and get the actual comic book on the day it releases. So it's always within a month, a month span. So there's always three levels to each one of those Brazilian Golden Age books. Yep. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Um, I'm going to follow up with a book that we've seen before that Josh showed off, but a different copy because he swiped that one in an auction from me. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, picked this I one up going. from oh. a neighbor oh. to the north who's a very good sorcerer. Shit. Yahtzee. <laughs> um, I, at best we can tell, this one is not removed from a, um, a Mohad. But I mean, the right. spine is rough, but it's there, so it's wow. debatable. It doesn't look trimmed like some of the other ones. So it's a true first edition, then, John, for a fact. Yeah. I mean, I just, I, it's real hard to tell what the spine is. It's beat, but it's there. Is there yeah. glue? Is there leftover glue on it, John? That's how you can tell. I, I don't. You see know. little bit glue spots or something? It's dirty. Hmm. So I, I don't know. I think it's more rust and dirt, but. If the stables are there, it's definitely a first edition. It's, uh, it's got staples, so I, it. I had missed the one from a while ago that came back that Josh had picked up online, listed terribly, <laughs> and I had wanted it. It popped up. I grabbed it. There is one little chunk at the corner missing. Well, not even the corner, but kind of like there on the edge. So yeah, but it's still really nice. Presents well. And a, a really cool addition. You know, we, we all love the Lebanese books with the the writing oh, yeah. and everything. It just looks so foreign. I also really like the green banner on this one. So Seems huge to be Arabic key. key. Huge Arabic key, John. That's a big yep. score, bro. So yeah, the Arabic books are fun. And uh I may have all that I've probably get. Are you showing one off there, Rob? Yeah, the Arabic I have next to me. Oh yeah. The green yeah. background. Yeah. Arabics are lovely. Lovely, lovely. All right. Last round, gentlemen. Hopefully you said something good. Last round. I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go fast, fast, fast. Batman, 1996. Hungarian 423. Gotta love the Hungarian stuff. Um, I got to thank Brian, our buddy Brian. You know, Hungary was a tough nut to crack for the longest time. And finally, we ended up with a source out of Hungary where we can get some of those Hungarian keys. Awesome yeah. book. You know, I'm starting to build that set. Um, this book is mind-blowing. This is the Danish Dark Knight Returns, baby. And it's freaking huge. Look how huge that is. Jeez. I mean, I mean oh, wow. look at that. I have it on the back of an EKS. 129 if that and you know guys know how oh, the eks is a monster oh, the monster right so yeah so i had that so That's i didn't every have inch a, of a magazine size if not a little more if not more so look how big of a dark knight returns one that is cool Nottens ridder i don't i'm probably <laughs> our danish our danish friends are laughing their ass off right now Nottens ridder i know it's wrong i know it's wrong okay Next bad boy, real quick. This is a file copy Hulk oh. Arabic magazine. I forget the number, but it's from an Arabic magazine. This is a file copy. I had to have it for Star Wars because I built the Star Wars one set. But this copy came from the translator of Bissad El Rit. Wow. So this is a big freaking deal. Um, you do not see Arabic books that look like this. You do not oh. see Lebanese books that look like this. It is, is almost as if it is new, stand yeah, like fresh. New. Yeah, they usually look more new. like what I showed. Yeah, this is a big freaking deal book because of its condition and because of the history. Because it is a file copy of the Lebanese publisher, which... You know, there's not many of those floating around out there. And then this is the this is the the cherry on top. 
Cherry. Fantastico oh, wow. Nine. Oh. Published by Editorial Soul. This is the Mexican Planet Comic 71. Oh. This is a big bad boy. Editorial Soul is a cool, cool publisher. Badass Mexican. Beautiful book. Classic right. cover. Beautiful painter. And, and that's what I got, boys. All right. That was hot. That was hot. Bjorn, I am sorry yeah. you got to follow Matt on that one. <laughs> well, I have something more. I have an Indonesian issue. Oh. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Indonesian. The Cyclone. And uh, this one is uh, special to me because it uh, contains uh, uh, one of the first advent the very first Spider-Man adventure I read. Wow. But, hmm. but, but. Every panel is redrawn by Indonesian yeah. artists. Beautiful. I love the Indonesian. So this, this is a uh, issue of, of uh, Peter Parker where, where he fights uh, uh, Moon Knight and uh, and Cyclone and uh, a couple of other uh, bad guys. That's, That's awesome. Rad. I absolutely love it. Wow. Let me guess, Bjorn. Ahmad or somebody else? Ahmad, yes. Mm. Ahmad, yeah, we, we can't talk about Indos without talking about our good buddy Ahmad. Yeah. I have bought uh, that... mo most of my Indos from him. Yeah. Is that uh, uh, random? I had a book next to me that I'm curious. Is it the story from this book or a different one? Uh, I have a Cyclone book. No, no. Uh, uh, that one, that story is from uh, Amazing Spider Man 143. The, this story is from. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 22, 23, okay. I think. All right, yeah. awesome. All you right. have an impressive knowledge of the uh, the Spider-Man numbers and just being able to see it that quick and go. It yep. is, it just is so much there, the Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. We all know. Mm. Very cool. I, I haven't yeah. gotten into the Indonesians. I know, I know Josh is buying them like they're crack. <laughs> they're, it's so, they're it's so, so great. Like, Everything is just redrawn. Like that's just super cool. Yeah, agreed. And you and you you can see that they had the original to look at when when they made the picture because they are they are so much alike, but uh, but yeah. still uh, very different. Mm -hmm. mm. Indonesia, the land of the bootlegs, the everlasting bootlegs. Love it. Yeah. Oh goodness! All right, Rob, what do you got to finish this out on your end? Well, I'm going to finish with Brazil, but uh, I got these in the mail recently. I have some Brazilian horror. Oh, that's a nice, nice. looking one. Skeleton. Oh, Jamie, sweet. Jaime Cortez. Oh, Ooh. man, I'm jelly. I'm jelly. I still don't Very own nice shape, Logan. Yeah. Nice. Got the Jaime Cortez down the bottom, if you can see that. That's oh, awesome. Beautiful. And then uh, to round it out, this is a very special book. You know, it's uh, I am a Captain America fan. Ken Worthing is a, my brother from another country. So uh, <laughs> I know this will do his heart good to know that someone, this is the second cover appearance of Captain America oh. in Brazil. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, my God. This is a piece of history. It's been told Amazing. to me that. That this is almost as rare as a seventy-three as a seventy-three O'Geary. So the inside story is all winners number seven. There's only four pages inside. And <clears throat> this cover is a wraparound. That's the one that has a this golden age book, but it has a wraparound cover. I don't I'm missing the back cover, but <laughs> this is uh this is a piece of uh, Brazilian history here. So gorgeous. This is almost as important as Captain America number two in the U.S. standards, timely comics. So uh, this will never leave my collection. Very Rob, that, I think beautiful. So that, that cover was only published in Brazil, not the USA. This was. That looks like an interior panel. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. Cobra is. It almost resembles a, a timely comics number one, almost because it like it's hitting Hitler. Same. Same expression. Yeah. yeah, I like the shield how it's how it's done there. It's just a little transparent. Yeah, very hot. Even, 
You even got Bucky in the background, so this is <laughs> kind of a cool cover. Rob, when Ken sees this, Ken's going to go nergasmic. Mm. Congratulations <laughs> on that one. That guy's a monster. Yeah, that's that's a good yeah, one. That's awesome. And uh, wow. It's uh, it's definitely a piece of uh, piece of the collection that's not going to be replicated because, as I know, there's only six copies known, six known copies, and Sky has f has the other four. I have one, <laughs> and another collector has the other. So, this is uh, th I can say that this is rare. It's that's not going to wow. be. It's not going to be easy. Surprised you pried one away from Sky. Yeah. yeah. I've been building credit, so I kind of mm -hmm. use that to get that. That's the closest <laughs> I got. All I can say is thank you, All but right. it goes on the mantle next to Cap. Very nice. <laughs> Lots to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. All yep. right, Josh. I don't know how you follow that. All right, so we're going to do this. Oh, the Yamba. Oh, the Yamba. <laughs> this is the, the Yamba. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, that is an amazing <laughs> cover. Yeah. So this is a Editora El Sol book. Um, mm -hmm. These books, I was going to say since Matt did one, the these books are finish. not easy to find. No, at they're all. not. Um, if you find one, just buy it, no matter what condition it's in. This this was pulled. This you know, There's no staples or anything, so this was in a pulled binding, but it doesn't even bother me. That's I, probably uh, why it looks so nice, the color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it survived. Yeah, I it have survived. A, I have a few Editora El Sol books, but I mean, one of them's missing half the cover, and I was like, I have to buy it because it actually has a Blue Bolt uh, Weird Tales. Is that what it was? Oh yeah, the, one of the, the pre-code, and it's it's got a uh, LB Cole interior. Ooh. So wow. I mean, you just gotta you gotta yeah, buy them when you find them, even if they're missing half the cover. That one's stunning, um, and that's the pages I had flashed earlier. Yeah, I sent I sent a page in for it. That's just the first page. Um, me not knowing any better, I'm like, oh, what is this? But it turns out that Yamba was actually like a indigenous, like it was Mexico, Spain's own superhero based off of like Tarzan and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it's all original. And then I'll show this one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. That's an amazing book. Yeah. And this book is huge. I got a, <laughs> I don't yeah. have any bags or boards that will fit it. Even a magazine one is too small. You got to have to get a time life and chop it up. Yeah. yeah. So I actually know nothing about this book yet because I haven't opened it. I just know that it's from 1953 in Mexico. I had never heard of the title or... And it's any beautiful. of that before beautiful cover man cecilio probably would know some about it i'd hit him up yeah yeah i should actually hit him up he'll he'll know more of the history on that book probably him. yeah or rulo very impressive very i went a little more mainstream to finish out um picked this up from one of our buddies the, the surfer uh, was selling some stuff to buy some other stuff. I think from Brazil, so I mean, we're all buying Brazil. Uh, <laughs> we let go of a. Ooh, oh oh yeah, the print of key time. Yeah, it's a really nice color. color. Fairly nice condition on this guy. Great um, condition. I I haven't owned any Daredevil ones of any language. This is my first, even nice. in the U.S. So kind of cool. And only I, fitting in Spanish. <laughs> you what? It's only fitting that it's Spanish. Not yeah. US. <laughs> I, I actually I love the coloring on it though. You know, he's got the red costume now. Yeah. It's got the black or um, the green the background yet again. All three of my books with the green. Uh, and just can I ask the, really just, uh, how soon after the, the American issue was this one published? I have not got a chance to research it. It just popped in, but I don't. The princes usually follow pretty quick. It was about like yeah. a year or two, I think, John. Yeah. I mean, it, long enough for him to be read. Yeah. And then there was the Spider-Man crossover on the cover. So, I mean, that would have had to take him to at least issue, what, seven or eight? So Yeah, I think so. Hmm. And by then, the yeah. costume change happened. So, yeah, it's about that time. Yeah, I mean, they're they're printed within a year or two usually, so they're not usually too far behind on the, yeah. the original ones. So That's a beautiful Lapenza, John. Yeah, very happy to have it. I don't... 
you know, I don't have a ton of the major keys like that in the, the princess, so I was glad to add one. Um, so I awesome. guess that is that is it for us today. Anybody got anything to add? Uh, oh, just that I oh, picked up a Hungarian. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Right. It's like a it's like a sleeve. It's from Hungary, so it's a book ember. Another one from our buddy Brian. But the shitty thing about it is it's I can't fit anything in it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's Hungarian it's, size. It's like <laughs> tiny, man. Like oh. it, even a modern comic, if it's in a bag and board, won't fit. You so need I'm to trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> you put all your digest sizes in there. That's yeah. what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to figure out something to put digest in there. But or or hide just or hide just snacks in there so nobody knows. Yeah, yeah or something. I'm gonna find uh -oh. some, some kind of use for it. Some edibles, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can't let my kid find those. Or put put some endos in there. A little. Oh yeah, little yeah. endos. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd like to thank Bjorn for joining us, as well as uh, Rob and thank Josh. You. Great to have all of you guys. Bjorn, thank you for staying up probably late on your side of the world. Uh, I appreciate it. The other gentlemen, we appreciate having you as always. Matt, it was fun. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be back, you guys. I'm glad to be back. Let's get back on the horse. Let's, yeah. let's start getting some global comic safaris out. We, we, we got some stuff we're working on. Hopefully we can get something rolling again. Uh, be sure to check out all the other great content we've got uh, on the channel. We've got uh, the comic book women. We've got uh, three comic money going with the uh, uh, creator interviews and uh, just some fun cover shares and vintage voyage is back as well after a short hiatus. And we are doing uh, all kinds of fun stuff there. Uh, the last couple of weeks we'd hit uh, Batman silver age and uh, Marvel, uh, horror comics of the 70s so check that stuff out if you haven't had a chance like and subscribe and we will see you all back shortly thanks guys okay thanks everyone thank you